Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a real-time painting tutorial and I chose some street lamps. You know, this uh, subject reminds me so much of the children's book, The Little Prince, because of the street lamps. So I'm just excited because, yeah, number one, it's, uh, it's a reminder of The Little Prince and number two, I love painting the light, so we will be painting some light today and we'll be using colors that I think most of you are familiar with already. So let me tell you now the colors that we'll be using for today's tutorial. And by the way guys, the reference image for this painting tutorial will be linked down in the description box below. So if you really uh, want to uh, paint along with me but you can't paint without looking at the reference image as I'm painting, then you may download uh, the, the reference photo from the description box below and you can paint along with me so let's start now and as I promised I'll be telling you the colors first that we'll be using for today's tutorial so we have of course titanium white we have black we have ultramarine blue burnt sienna cadmium yellow and transparent yellow this transparent yellow is like you know um if you don't have this, the exact color, then you can actually use uh, your cadmium yellow with a lot of water, but I'll be showing you the technique later. So let's first do the background sky. So we'll be doing some street lamps. As you can see, I've already washi taped my canvas here because I don't want it to move around as I'm painting. So I'll be using a quite huge brush for the skies because again, we'll be painting some street lamps so we can suppose that it's the view will be quite high up in the sky because of the height of the street lamp so we'll be using some ultramarine blue okay add tiny bit of black and then white so it's like this muted um ultramarine all right like this okay So this color, and then let's start doing some dark skies. So as you can see, the tape actually helps me to um, make the canvas stay in place. At the same time, it also helps me like place some margins although I'm not really a fan of um, putting margins on my canvas it's just that I'm using a canvas paper that's why it's quite hard for me to not tape it all right so I'm just going most of the time um, horizontal but it doesn't really matter as we are just doing the initial stage we will be painting over it later again just ultramarine black and then some white just to mute the colors you can add more water if you want and i also have my hair dryer right beside me so that when i decide to dry things a little quicker you know you can easily do that all right then i'm gonna lighten the bottom portion because it's quite near uh, the land portion. So I'm gonna add more white, maybe tiny bit of burnt sienna. All right, more white. Okay, just to lighten things up a bit. We're not using a black background because the the handles of the street lamps are already black. So we want our street lamp to be seen uh, in contrast with the background or in contrast against the background. We don't want it to be black against black. We want something like dark against black so that the black will still be visible. All right, so there you go. Actually, with my canvas right here, my canvas paper, the paint actually dries pretty quick. And it's not even that um, dark yet. You can actually darken it a little bit more. So I'll be using more black, more ultramarine. 
I'm gonna add a tiny bit of burnt sienna, all right? Okay, and then I'm going to make some more dark areas above or right here. We're doing the second layer now. All right. I'm going to add some black, uh, some black and then more ultramarine and then we're going to dry brush to, to create some clouds. So I'm going to um, remove the excess water from my paintbrush. You can dab it onto your towel if you have it. We're just going to dry brush and make some like that, like tiny suggestions of clouds. So again, I'm using some dry brush technique here. And even if we are using a reference photo, um, we need not uh, totally or absolutely copy it. You know, we're using the reference photo for composition um, because if we are, if we want to paint realistic subjects, we so, we kind of somehow need um, an image to refer to, you know, not just from memory. I really don't trust my memory that much because memory is deceiving. It only um, makes us create things out of what we want to, to imagine. It doesn't really create the reality that there is. All right, like that. So it's like clouds, dark clouds. I'll be getting my brown. I'll be adding some cad yellow. So I like this color. I'll be adding some white. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna add some yellowish colors. Add white. And let's create some suggestions of light clouds down here. You can actually use some pinky colors, but um, we'll only be using the colors that I've mentioned. All right, like that. And some hints of that color right here. Do not do this too much up here, just hints, okay? because we're trying to do it perspective as well. Okay, just hints guys, do not overdo it. All right, wash your brush out. Okay, if you want to make it a little more solid when it comes to color, you can actually add some more paints. just to make the color a little more solid. All right, like that. Okay, wash your brush out. Now we're going to sketch. I think, you know, my canvas is quite absorbent. That's why I really don't need to hair dry my um, canvas. So I'm just gonna use a pointy brush to sketch my subject. So in sketching the subject, we're not going to trace anything here. We're going to freehand everything. So get your black paint. And I really suggest that you don't get scared when it comes to freehand uh, drawing because what's the worst that can happen when you freehand drawing? I mean, if you make a mistake, it's all right. It's all right, guys. It's just paint. So me, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get this right um, at first um, try. I may get it wrong, but then I will correct it as I go. So for the sketch, I'm just going to use again my black paint and try to... Okay. Alright, so I don't know where to begin. <laughs> so I think here, 
I'm just gonna begin sketching. I mean, there is nothing wrong with tracing. There's nothing wrong. Uh, it's just that if you really, really want to practice drawing, then you should not really depend on tracing. Now, if you tell me that you're not here for drawing, you're here for painting, it's all right. What I'm trying to say is that for me, they're quite intertwined, you know? Um, we're not painting abstract here that does not require drawing. We're painting real subjects that need some sort of um, believableness. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like it should be quite believable and for it to be believable it has to be uh it has to follow some perspective and i know that you can trace that you can do that by tracing it so that you can easily get the perspective but again i'm trying to learn as well not just you guys i want to learn all right so this is the first lamp lamp i mean So again, I'm just using my black. Okay, I think I need more water. right like that okay i hope you can see that all right you can see it so we're just sketching it you know we're not really trying to do anything special as of this moment so when we're painting some subjects um the setting of which is the night time they're quite silhouette, right? So it's much easier for you to do. We're just following the shape. two more don't worry guys we'll get there Some areas will be painted over as we do the light, but at least we know 
where to place them back you know once they got or oh, if they ever they get painted over at least we know where to find them again we're not gonna get lost If you can hear a barking dog, you can hear it from the outside. Once we're done with the sketch, it will be more fun, promise, because we'll be painting the light. For now, let's just stress over this uh, sketch. Not stress in a bad way, but let's focus more on this. Because again, once we're done here, it's all fun. like that okay so those are the two lamps we're going to do the last one and that will be it okay we're going to do the lamp first before the handle so that we're still consistent with proportion and perspective Again, the image is linked in the description box. I don't know if you find it quite difficult to paint um, following a tutorial without actually seeing the reference image. I think some people just, you know, they're having a hard time doing that. But when I was, um, during the first months when I was just starting, uh, painting I would follow um, video tutorials uh, without the need of uh, looking at the reference image that they're using it's all right I think it's actually more effective for me when I follow them more than concentrate on the reference image I don't know I don't know some people are just like that But for your benefit, the image is linked in the description box below.
right. Let me check. Yeah, that's nice. You know, we'll be doing some perspective. That's why. It seems like one is um, higher than the other. We're doing some perspective and I hope it makes sense as we go on. All right. Okay. We got the shape, the shape of it, the general shape of this uh, street lamp. All right. Okay, now wash your brush out. Get a new brush, I think, so that you don't dirty your yellows. So for the underpainting of the light, I'm just gonna use my burnt sienna. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to my burnt sienna. All right, just get your burnt sienna plus white and try to underpaint the inside of the lamp. Just underpaint it with brown and white. I'm using a square brush so that you know I really get it quite straight. Alright, and then we move on to the next one, next lamp. Again, just burn Sierra plus white. This is quite um, uh, um, therapeutic for me. I don't know why, because it feels like a step-by-step -step, um, thing for me. I don't want to rush it. All right, like that. Okay, now we're going to Actually, we're going to color the bottom portion that I forgot. Same thing, guys. Just burnt sienna. All right, like that. Okay, I added a little bit of white again to my burnt sienna. Just a little bit. Right. Same here. Next one. Last lamp.
then the bottom portion Okay. All right. Okay, wash your brush out. Now we're moving on to the second layer of the, the light. And we'll be using some yellows just to give it more light. The underpainting also is already brown, so we're moving on to the next color. We're going to use some um, uh, cadmium yellow. Okay, maybe add a tiny bit of brown to make it more like yellowish brownish color. And then let's move on. But I'll be using a lot of my fingers this time to actually spread the colors. You know, it's like um, not really painting over our browns with some yellows. We're trying to glaze it a bit. You know, if that's make if that makes sense, guys. It's like glazing, but not really. It's like coating it with some thin color of yellow. And not everything gets covered. Just make sure that there's some sort of yellowness to your brown. All right, and then I'll be using the same color right here. So you can see how I put on the paint. It's just like glazing it, but again, not really because I'm still trying to cover it with some yellow paint. Like that. And down here. Like that. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the same thing here like that The center of the lamp should be the brightest because that is the light source. Alright, like that. Okay. Alright, so. Okay, now we're going to use some yellow. Yellow plus white. So we're going to lighten really the colors. We're going now from inside out. So we're going to make the center quite bright. You can actually paint over the black lines just to make it quite easier for us. We will be painting over that later. It's all right. Okay, just make some yellow circle right in the middle. And then I'm just using my fingers to just kind of blend it. Make some smooth circle of yellow. 
right in the middle again just so you can paint over the white at uh, the black line it's all right it's just black line you can always paint over it and then I'm going to add some yellowness along the sides of the black lines like that Okay, now I'm going to add some just pure cadmium yellow in the middle. Okay, and then get your white, pure white. Just add some brightness in the middle using pure white. Again, pure white. Like that. Okay, now we're going to allow that to dry, you know? We're going to glaze later. For now, let's just get some burnt sienna plus yellow and white. Okay, and let's highlight the, the, what do you call this? The lamp holder. Like that. There's some sort of highlights here and there. Oops. I'm going to delete this one because I just ruined it okay okay now I'm gonna get my transparent yellow so get your transparent yellow and add a tiny bit of burnt sienna to that and we're going to glaze the bottom portion like so Okay, my fingers is just glaze the bottom the bottom portion with this color and also now the insides So again, burnt sienna plus your transparent yellow or your permanent yellow deep. Actually, it's permanent yellow deep. Like so. Again, the same color. I'm going to highlight this area I 
I think my permanent yellow is quite an old paint. That's why you can see some huge chunk of paints, dried paints, but it's all right. I don't mind. Alright, and now, okay, I have to use my hair dryer now just to dry things a little quicker. going to glaze some areas okay so I'm just gonna get again my permanent yellow deep which is quite like super old paint and again just glaze it get your cadmium yellow Just going around or I mean along those black lines that we have okay. I'm gonna get my black let's go back to fixing the black lines that we painted over I'm just fixing some areas. Alright, like that. Now I really don't know how this looks like. I'm just gonna check. Oh, this is nice. It's nice. Okay, but I think we need more um we need more darkening, especially right here. I feel like it's too light. So we're going to darken it. I, I kind of want it quite dark.
Let's add, let's add some extra details. Okay, I'm gonna get my cadmium yellow plus my permanent yellow deep and plus brown. And I'm gonna water that down and add some little specks of yellow here and there. You just want that color like spread out all right i'm gonna get my brown and water it down let's make it a little more brownie I'm gonna make some like overlapping color right here because you know that's how light is right makes the object a little brighter than it actually is Oops, I'm actually All right. Let's wait for it to dry. It's quite wet. I think let's just fix some areas. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Really nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
I'm just gonna use more purplish black colors and I'm just gonna paint the corners I kind of like the top skies quite dark I don't know it's just me I kind of like the skies like quite dark but not too dark because We want the lamp to be seen. Then again, some burnt sienna plus kind of yellow, just to make, I'm gonna add white. Just to make our sky quite light down here. Right, just making the lower skies quite light. Add some interest to your painting like that okay I think the lamps are now dry I'm just gonna get my cadmium yellow okay and I'm going to glaze again because I'm a fan of glazing so let's go glaze again so that we really, really make our lamps quite bright. Especially the center most part. I think I really have to fix this lamp, the middle part. So let me just fix it. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of brown. Like that because I feel like I had so much black in there so I fixed it Like 
some more glazing Like that. Trying to highlight. All right. This is nice. This is nice, guys. I think we're done. Right? We're done, I think. This is so nice. So I'm going to sign this now. Okay. Actually, if you want to go a little further, you can even make some brownie color because I feel like there is some sort of brown. Brownie colors. Right, like that. Okay. I'm going to get some brown and black combo and I'm gonna go right here because there's some sort of invisible not invisible but quite translucent it's a translucent glass so you can see the back uh, handle and then we're going to, I hope I'm making sense guys. It's quite difficult to explain. And then I'm gonna glaze it so that you can actually see through the glass. Like that. All right, like that. Okay, I think this is quite dry. So I'm gonna paint over it some yellows to actually suggest some light, like that. Tiny bit of coverage. Also here, tiny bit of coverage. All right, like that.
Okay, I'll sign this now. So I'm gonna sign right here. I'm gonna use my white. Okay, I'm gonna use my white. And just sign. Okay. That's it, we're done. I hope you like this one. Oh, I hope you like this one, guys, because I like this one. And it's been a while since the last time I did a real-time tutorial. So, see you in my next video. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And bye, guys! Love you!